everyone sam is here from myforestmagicweb.com uh, making this a small video for uh, the end of the week weekly recap today is friday evening wanted to make it earlier but <clears throat> got busy in something so let's get started um, as i was mentioning in my last um, uh, recap that the last week was kind of you know slow only six or seven trades and even the, you know the small one but this week, uh, basically, uh, you know, compensate all of that. So let's get started and see, you know, how, uh, you know, we did it and uh, how many trades and uh, how this system works here. Uh, so starting the, the, the week, 4th, February 4th here, 20-minute Aussie Yen. Aussie Yen was very active this week. So this was a short, <clears throat> and all of these, uh, you will see this yellow on the left-hand side. You will see my order and NSL. And this is the setup, the indicators all the way up, and then blue candle turns red, that's a short entry, okay? So this is a short on the fourth. On the fourth, this is a long. Red candle turns into blue, and the indicators all the way down. This is a setup, and you can see my buy order, and then SL move uh, you know, a few pips, uh, you know, positive, on the, on the positive side. So this is this on the fourth, and then this is the fifth, uh, Euro Aussie hitting all the way, uh, going to the upside to the level, big level, 57.67, and then coming off from there. This is a sell order right there. Uh, and on the fifth, uh, this is a pound yen, 20 minute chart, sell order, and very, very nice entry. This was an entry too, but you know, I didn't, this one is the better one, so I. <coughs> I, I think I, I took this one too. I took this one and then gave me like probably eight, 10 pip negative. You know, when, when it moves, you know, you make an entry and when the price start moving, you, you know, you slowly uh, bring the SL down. And if it has to go all the way down, then it will go down. You're, you're free and clear. But if it has to move up, then at least, you know, instead of the initial uh, SL for this setup is always 25 pip. So uh, when the price move from here to here, maybe like 20 pips, so you bring a little bit, uh, your SL down to maybe, you know, 15 pips, so you are in, you know, 10 pip risk. And if it goes back up on you, you know, so, you know, most of the time I, you know, my SL uh, is like 8 pip, 7 pip, 10 pip uh, hit. And then, uh, you know, if you make the right one, you know, hallelujah, it goes on a long way. You will see my trades, big trades. Uh, pound yen on the fifth. Uh, let me see. This one is on the fifth. Uh, New Zealand yen. Look, by the book, beautiful entry, 80 pip. First trade all the way down, and uh, it never went up above it. My, you know, when I open uh, the, the, the setup, the, the trade, after this setup, the SL is right here, above above the high of the candle. And from tight, you know, from the price to, to this area, where the SL is, is usually 25 pip. If I'm late making entry, then, you know, it's like 25, 30 pip. Sometimes 35 pip, but that's where it is. Uh, okay, so this one on the fifth, another one on 20 minute USD CAD. Look how beautiful this entry is. <clears throat> All these three entries, beautiful, beautiful entries. But this entry alone, 130 pip straight. Okay, uh, so now on the fifth, again, this one pound Aussie, this area, very, very strong uh, weekly low area. And as soon as it hit, uh, was a very very nice timing and everything so i showed it right there this is my sell order here and all the way down you have to pay attention to the news as well so you know that's uh, when you uh, sign up you subscribe uh, you attend my webinar and i teach you the whole system you know systematically what are the th the things that you have to pay attention and, and you know under consideration and then you use the system snr level where these levels come from, uh, my weekly chart and monthly chart. Those are the templates that I give you for each and every pair and individual currency indexes like Aussie dollar, pound dollar, I mean pound, <laughs> and uh, US dollar and euro you know, and, and yen, you know, all of those individual currency indexes. Okay, here is on the sixth euro USD, small trade, you know, nothing big. And this one is very nice, 110 pip. Uh, 100 pip, I would say a decent trade. Be, be, you know, be, I mean, uh, less than 100 is like, okay, you know, I'll take it. Or more than 100 is a good trade. 
so this is and now this is a good trade <laughs> i shrink the candles because the whole thing was not coming into the uh, the chart so here was a level beautiful level we held below then dip a little bit went up and there's like three drive pattern nice uh, candle turning and i knew that this is gonna go down because uh, the news was supporting it too sell order and then it all you know went all the way down is what 200 pip 200 plus pip it's a big trade right uh plus uh and this on the sixth again and uh, this one a new z yen going to the upside uh beautiful uh long uh, entry right at the level uh weekly high 79.35 big level and here's the buy order and gone with the wind 70 pip now here is uh, on the sixth again you see how many trades i mean like i said you know the last week was very slow and i didn't even mention in my web uh, webinar uh, my video recapping uh, but this week really really compensated it so this is all uh pound aussie again exactly uh coming down i forgot to write down the, the level here what was the level but um yeah right below that it, you know long in a big drop i retrace a little bit and then another push to the downside not a big trade again but you know hey 60 pip this is the big one going up to you know again this is where it came down then it started wobbling this pound newsy by the way and it's 40 minute chart so 40 minute chart is just like four hour chart regular candlestick four hour chart and look how nicely you know it was like going up and up and holding 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 and i says you know what let's try it and then it started going up and i opened the trade i went into positive and then sit and break even and just look around here there you know basically when you open something like that and you go into positive and uh, there is a trick so i would you know when you subscribe i'll meant i'll tell you then and, and you apply that i mean you just forget about the trade okay for, for for the whole day or two and then you come back and see okay so sometimes your sl will be hitting uh, and you will be probably you know uh, getting out of the trade break even but sometimes this is what happens 200 pips right uh, on the eighth this is usd cat 20 minute from uh, bouncing from here was 70 80 pip 100 pip something like that i forgot to write it down but this is my buy order this is the sl and it's going nice and clean on this this is also on it says seventh but it is it is the entry was on the seventh but the trade i closed on the eighth you can see the bottom here this 8 february and then when the trade was open was like beginning of the seventh so this two day aussie yen why because of the fact that aussie dollar was getting very very weak and in at the same time yen was getting strong so 170 pip right there sell order right there okay and then on the ninth this is euro aussie you know i just closed today uh, nothing nothing big nothing major but hey i had two orders here two entries because it's today's friday if something is moving and it's moving so i said you know let's go so but look this is the one this is the big one that made my day this is pound aussie it's a 40 minute chart and it is coming off of 79.92 first trade i was watching it and then went up and again boom let's go to the downside all the way to 76.48 let me show you how uh, what you know how these levels work and where do i get it and why i open trades like that okay uh if i um, i think i have it um this is aussie where did i have that pound um, 79 uh, let me show you the other one there uh, for example this one aussie n okay aussie n uh, i have the chart ready uh, open uh, i don't know what happened to pound aussie chart now uh, let me show you real quick going back there the aussie yen this one okay it's on the eighth right yesterday and i opened the trade here why this is 86.69 what is this where it come from and why i you know waited for the price to touch it and then start dropping and then why 84.51 
So let's take a look at this. I made this chart and I posted it on my website too. This is Aussie yen. And this, when you have something like this, and I made these chart already with a lot of bullets, all of them. This is I just made uh, today, right? But I have the Aussie, uh, every pair I have monthly and weekly chart where all these highs and lows mark the bullets and the numbers and everything. And I have saved the templates of those charts, which I give you when you subscribe. So you have basically all this work done. Now, when the price is moving in the vicinity, wherever it is, like for example, so you what you do is you draw, take these numbers, which are very close by, and then draw on horizontal uh, lines on the chart and watch what happened around that uh, uh, those areas. And then at, at the same time, I'm watching my index charts. So when the news comes out, Aussie bad news, Aussie index start dropping, Aussie is getting weaker. Aussie yen. Aussie is on the left hand side. Obviously, this pair need to drop that, right? So when the price was here, look, now we go back and see what was happening there. Look, we were going, getting close to that. And as soon as I see 86.69, I know this is a very big number. And the bad news, Aussie probably going to get weaker. Open the trade right here and hold on to it. That's it. Okay. And a couple of days, 84.51 is the target was the target and uh, what is the target let me see if i can show you this is the one okay this is also the target but it was a little bit even lower than this one so you know i said 84.51 i will get out enough is enough you know it's a lot of you know more than 150 60 pip it's not a joke so this is how it is if you play and then look this is it it is coming down uh, off 89.07 Basically, this number is holding it. It went up there before. Where? This is the low. I don't know. I didn't mark it. But this is the one. On my chart, on my real charts and the uh, templates, I do have it. So all of these numbers are very, very powerful numbers. 89.36 is right here, and which you, you can see on my chart. But it was very close. 89.36.39. So uh, it is very close, so I didn't pay attention to that. So, you know. So this is how uh, you go uh, step by step. So when you subscribe, you learn everything. You will learn uh, how to, you know, uh, first of all, I give you all the charts, you know, the templates and everything, the EA, the, the, this, uh, you know, alarm that when the setup is there, for example, here, the alarm will beep. Okay, the, the sound will beep and you can just come and see. Okay, if you, if you miss this one, you know, this is also 100 pip, more than 100 pip from here to there, right? So uh, uh, easy, you can just uh, come and take, you know, when you see uh, the, the alarm beeping, you come and you see, aha, uh -huh, beautiful, you know, it, it's up there all the way. I forgot to mark uh, down here, <laughs> the indicator here. So for sure, this indicator has to be all the way up. Blue candle turns red, beeper start beeping, and you take the trade, simple as that, okay? So uh, <clears throat> this is how it is, like I said, um, the last one was the big one. This, uh, the first entry here from here to because this is a 40 minute chart, it's 190 pip, and then second entry from here to here count 150 pip. That's more than 300 pip on Friday from one pair. You can do the same, it's easy. I would say, you know, easy one condition you have to pay attention and learn a little bit of hard work. And then it becomes easy. You know, the, what's the difference between hard and easy? The thing that you don't know, very, very hard, difficult, impossible, right? But once you learn, now you know those things, they are easy, you know? Whatever you know how to do it, you know, for you, it's easy. Maybe for somebody else, it's very difficult. So in between is learning from impossible to easy, right? So, uh, and this is what I do. In my webinar, you will learn everything, everything. Harmonic patterns, Elliott waves, all these, you know, how to draw these candles. You need a special indicator for this. Okay. These are, uh, you know, candles. And then these are not simply uh, uh, Renko candles. It is mixed with something else. That's how it looks like this. So uh, not only I give you that indicator, the EA, everything. Okay. And uh, you will. Uh, and if you have difficulty, if you're not familiar with the computer and this, all this mumbo jumbo, you know, taking the files and putting in the, your MT4 folders and this and that, I have someone uh, very, very good at that. And then she will get, get on 
to either team viewer or skype and help you out set up all the charts and everything it takes a few hours and you will be ready to go okay easy easy to set up these charts and then that my templates weekly charts monthly chart you know they, you will have them and uh, uh they will be you know you will be good to go in no time so like i said if uh, you like what you saw go on my website you know uh myforestmagicweb.com and use the subscribe button subscribe today is friday uh, get everything get the whole system and uh, start setting up the charts and start trading from monday i uh, will be doing a webinar uh, sunday at 4 p.m and i will be giving out all the uh, the setups the charts and the suggestions what to do for next couple of days then i will do a webinar on uh, four o'clock on wednesday for the rest of the week this is how i do it and in the meantime obviously i tweet if the setup is there or anything i'll just tweet and and uh, or send out the chart if i have something you know good setup so this is how it is uh, like i said uh, you know subscribe and start doing uh, the trading like this all right so uh, good luck and uh, tomorrow i will be if you sign up please uh, you know give me some time because i'm leaving tonight uh, probably not tonight maybe early in the morning and i'll be spending all day in the in you know in the ocean uh, playing you know with fishes <laughs> so uh, uh you know so basically we're going for fishing so and then i will be back uh tomorrow evening and if you sign up just hold on to it and i will come back when i come back i will uh you know send you all the things personally okay that's that's one thing that i do myself i'm on, i want to make sure that you get everything and you get it right okay so uh like i said good luck and uh, uh wish me good luck also that i catch some fishes tomorrow okay so uh, see you in my webinars thanks for watching have a great day